What's up, people? Welcome back. All right, it's been a while since I've done an Ubuntu for Dummies 2014 video, so let's take a quick look at printers. Now, in the past, for some of you, if not most of you, at least for me, printers, along with video drivers, printer drivers for Linux, can also be a challenge, to say the least. Now, normally, if, if you are running a distribution like Ubuntu, like I am here to install, printer drivers you would go to the dash or the start button if you want to call it this if you're coming from a Windows environment you would type printer highlight and click the printers icon you would click add now I already have but say there was nothing here you would click add network printer and it would find your printer assuming it was connected to your computer in my situation I have an Epson XP 310 which works pretty darn good but let's say it didn't come up, it wasn't listed, or maybe it was listed, but still your printer was not functioning at all, or not functioning, not functioning correctly, rather. Well, in this situation here, there's a piece of software that I have had a 100% success rate so far, and I've tested this with Canon printers, and now my Epson. So let's go back. This is called Turbo Print. So if I click the Turbo Print Control, now this is a trial version for 30 days. It's free for 30 days. Now I won't go into all of this, but this is extremely user friendly. I won't go into the, all the options here, but this is very easy to use. You have default, configure, again self-explanatory toolbox such as print a test page add edit delete my printer the status monitor this is going to give me I believe the um, ink levels here we go very nice very user-friendly and more information here and so on and so forth so if you've had issues in the past where trying to install printer drivers were a pain in the you know what definitely check out Turbo print and at least try it for 30 days. If you don't like it or don't want it, really, what do you have to lose? So check it out. All right, a couple of reminders. The latest poll has been out. Do you like Windows 8.1? Yes, no, prefer Chromebook, prefer Linux, prefer Mac. The results so far, not really surprisingly, Linux leads by a small margin. I'm a little surprised about 0% for Chromebooks. I know at least some of you really like your Chromebook. So there's still about uh, 11 days or so to vote for this. I'm curious to see what the final results will be, but I've got a feeling that Linux may win out in the end. Finally, the latest Toss Today project. This is a 30-day fundraiser. Many, re many requests in the past to take a look at Mac computers and not forget Mac users. I haven't forgotten about you guys, but I need your help. This is a 30-day fundraiser for $2,500. Now, I have looked at Mac laptops, and they can run as high as $4,000. What I'm hoping I don't need that kind of a laptop to produce, you know, Linux videos or uh, tutorials, rather, for the channel. I'm looking to get a something with a retina display since I wear contacts and or glasses. So this is really up to you guys so if you would like to see this consider being a part of this project all the information's here I will not go into all of this this is pretty much self-explanatory if you have any questions suggestions I'm all for it there are some perks here including a chance to get together you and I for a a Google Hangout or maybe a YouTube live event I will have all the links below in the show notes all right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for over four years of Total OS today, and I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future.